I jumped in the water just to go for a swim, and next thing you know, I came up and I was covered in blood. Uh, they're giving me a, a swim turned scary for a woman in South Florida as a shark bites down on her arm. Now, that victim was simply trying to cool off when the shark went on the attack. Luckily, someone pulled her out of the water before the shark tried to strike again. That attack happened yesterday at Bob and Mary's Marina in Isle Morada. Diana Gonzalez is live at Baptist Hospital in Kendo where the victim underwent surgery for her shark bite. Diana. This is a story about a young couple from Jacksonville vacationing in the Keys. Well, they ended up being airlifted here to Baptist Hospital in Kendall after she goes for a quick dip at Bud and Mary's Marina in Isla Morada. No, it was just like I jumped in the water and then like I just felt like snap like on my arm. I felt something just snap on my arm and it was quick, really quick, and then I just felt my hand and I just felt my bone. I saw my bone. There was like pieces of my flesh. Like in the water, like muscles, like we're oozing out. It was really gross. Then 19 year old Ashley Silverman's boyfriend jumped to her rescue. As, as soon as she said, Baby, help me, was the first words out of her mouth. And I just jumped in the water and tried to snatch her onto the boat as fast as I could and help the guy put the tourniquet on her arm. I mean, you could. There was blood You could see, I mean, blood was really everywhere. I mean, Ashley's lucky she didn't lose her right arm and now faces six to 12 hours of reconstructive surgery. It's in this region right here. She has a large piece of tissue that's missing, and inside, contained in that tissue, are nerves, blood vessels, and tendons, as well as the coverage on the outside of the arm. No one actually saw the shark, but based on the bite, Dr. Randy Miller believes it was a 10 to 15 footer. The reason that we think it's a shark is because shark's teeth face inward. So when a shark bites and a shark doesn't let go and wiggles his head or the, or the person tries to pull away from the shark, usually that tissue just gets ripped right out of the patient. And that's exactly what happened in this case. She's a trooper. <clears throat> Now, the surgery got underway just moments ago and is expected to go into the night. After the operation, Ashley's going to face a lot of physical therapy because of the nerves and tendons that were affected by this bite. Live at Baptist Hospital, Diana Gonzalez, NBC6. And Diana, a few statistics about shark attacks in the Sunshine State. According to the Florida Museum of Natural History, and it actually says it right there, it says between 1670 to the year 2000, there were 440 total recorded shark attacks in Florida, 21 of them fatal. By the way, you can learn more about sharks on NBC6.net. We have an interactive feature on different shark species, national attack statistics, and a list of myths and facts. It's all at our website, NBC6.net.